April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and there are resources in our area for struggling families. 10 News reporter Leslie Gooden shows us how they're working to raise awareness. You may have spotted pinwheels like these spinning across the Commonwealth. They symbolize Virginia's abused children. So pinwheels for prevention are to remind us every child deserves a great childhood. The 3,500 pinwheels at the Arboretum were placed here earlier this month by volunteers. Through sales and fundraising, the Children's Trust of the Roanoke Valley has raised $40,000 that will be used for educational programs on preventing and addressing child abuse. So it teaches children about what abuse is. It teaches them about personal body safety. So it goes towards those classes. Last year we taught over 4,000 adults and children through these two programs. Family Services of the Roanoke Valley serves as a partner with Children's Trust and says they've seen a new issue occurring. What we're seeing is um, a, an increase in referrals because of the opiate addiction crisis that's happening. More caregivers um, are struggling with addiction, which obviously means they've got less coping skills to manage the challenges that children bring. He says there are key signs of abuse. First, change in sleeping patterns, waking up more or less, increase in nightmares, and plus, irritability and increase in aggression. Family Services uses play therapy to assess if a child has been abused um, and so offers free programs for caregivers and parents to learn more on abuse and treatment. In Roanoke, Lozo Gooden to News, working for you.